Are you alright? Thanks for taking the time to join me and on today's video I'll be giving you a review of the menstrual cup and how I used it to aid in my journey to try and conceive. So grab yourself a cuppa and join me. A little bit of history about the menstrual cup. Uh, sometimes known as the reusable menstrual cup, soft cup, diva cup or discs. They've been around in various shapes and forms since the 1930s with the sole purpose of collecting menstrual fluid. Menstrual cups are typically made from a medical grade silicone or latex and come in all different shapes and sizes, colours, styles. I have to admit to only purchasing a menstrual cup for fertility purposes. I've never used it for its intended purpose of collecting menstrual fluid. I use reusable menstrual pads which I make and sell myself and I have done so for years and I'm very happy with that method. But along the lines I heard about using a menstrual cup and thought why not give it a go let's see if this will help me get pregnant quicker if you've made it this far in the video don't forget to hit the like button and tap the subscribe button to follow my journey here's a little bit of science behind using a menstrual cup to aid in fertility and that is i mean let's think back to our childhood science class we know that fertilization must occur in order to become pregnant obviously and sperm needs to travel through the fallopian tubes to reach the egg sperm obviously has the ability to live in a woman's body for up to five days but it cannot live outside the body for more than a few hours before the sperm loses its ability to swim through the fallopian tube to reach the egg so using the menstrual cup to aid in fertility to me made a lot of sense. The menstrual cup will keep the sperm inside warm and close to the cervix, giving the sperm the best chance of swimming in the right direction. Have you ever tried using the menstrual cup to aid in your fertility? Let me know how you found it in the comments below. The reality is that using a menstrual cup for fertility is I found it a bit tricky to use. I have a high cervix and having to insert this menstrual cup required me to go to places only my gynecologist had ever seen. Once it was finally in place, it was comfortable and I didn't notice it. I kept it up there for maybe an hour. Menstrual cups are designed to stay in the body for up to eight to 12 hours, but I just thought to myself, why have it in there for that long? It surely served its purpose after an hour. But now the fun came when I tried to remove it. And this for me is the deal breaker. I thought to myself, this thing is actually stuck. I thought all I had to do was pull the little nib and it would just come loose and come out well little did i know that i had to go down in the deep dark depths and fish it out you have to release the suction by flattening in it on one side and then you can use the nib to pull it out now this is simply too much work for me i don't want to have to insert something in me that could one lead to toxic stock syndrome and two is a nightmare to get out now I know a few ladies, especially in the low waist sustainability world, who swear by their menstrual cups and fair play to them. It works for them, but it doesn't work for me and I won't be using mine again, um, not for menstruation or fertility. The journey to try and conceive is full of tips and tricks and I know because I've made a video about them. But ultimately the journey is your own and what works for you may not work for somebody else but we have nothing to lose in this journey so we try these ideas that we find online or tips from friends or family and sometimes they work 
sometimes they don't. We just need to be kind to each other and support each other on this journey. Everyone's journey is different.